hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve. Today's quick tip may have been saving your bacon and you didn't even know it, so let's jump right in. The first important thing to say about the luminance mixer is that it is available with the primary wheels and the primary bars, but not with the log wheels. Next, to show what the Luminous Mixer does, I will use the primary bars because that way we have perfect control over the red, green and blue channels independently. For this example, let's look at the effect on the highlights or gain. I'm going to put my scopes on the RGB parade and I'm just going to hide them for now. With Lumix set to the default 100, I will start to raise my blue gain, but keep an eye on the preview window. As you would expect, our image has started to take a blue tint originating in the highlights. And let's just park that there. Turning our scopes back on, predictably, our blue channel is up way high. Now, if I go back and start to adjust the gain again, See how the green and red channel also adjust automatically. If I switch to my waveform, we can see exactly what is happening here. The Lumamix, when set to 100, is automatically adjusting the other channels to leave the overall luminance unadjusted. Let's reset our gain and switch back to the RGB parade and hide that again. Now let's set the Luma Mixer to zero and make the same style adjustments to our gain. Looking at the preview window, you can see that we have certainly added the same blue tint, but the image has gotten brighter. With our RGB scopes turned back on, we can see what's truly happening here. Now. Our, only our blue channel is moving and the red and green channel remain unaffected. And if we switch back to our waveform, you can see the results this has on the image, which is that the luminance now does change. This is why I said that this may have saved your bacon many times, as this may very well have prevented data from clipping in your image. Of course, you can adjust this to any value between, depending on what you need on a shot-to-shot -shot basis. And should you prefer the effect of this set to zero rather than the default 100, you can change this. If I add some serial nodes, you can see that it always defaults the Luma Mixer to a value of 100. Go to the settings icon here and go onto general options and under color, you can click on luminous mixer defaults to zero and hit save. Now, when I add serial nodes, you can see that the Luma mixer defaults to zero. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.